shuttered before even opening its doors. A controversial housing community for sex offenders in Tenino has been canceled. The organization overseeing the program made that announcement today. Fox 13's Nia Wong caught up with families who were fighting against that proposal, and they tell her this is just round one. Supreme Living cited resources and costs as the reasons why they're not moving forward with this home. Meanwhile, families living nearby tell me they are breathing easier tonight, knowing sexually violent predators won't be moving in next door. All the rallies, petitions, and the power of community have made this past year worth it for Tonino mother Sarah Fox. On the verge of tears, um, it's a huge sense of relief that I don't have six sexually violent predators in my backyard. One month ago, level three sex offenders from McNeil Island were supposed to move into this facility, but that's no longer the case. Supreme Living LLC in charge of the project no longer plans to use this home. Fox considers this outcome a victory. It is all about community and it's all about follow through. While Supreme Living LLC announced in a statement it wouldn't provide supportive housing services at its Tenino property, it didn't mention its next steps. Under the state share law, a less restrictive housing alternative will have to go somewhere in Thurston County. The fight's just begun. Fox's neighbor, Carrie Jeter, started the original petition to local representatives. We had a benefit concert. We we did a town hall and just asked for donations to hire an attorney. And so, yeah, we just really had a supportive community behind us. They believe they can recreate their success on the state level. And now we started a second petition to Governor Inslee specifically. As of Tuesday night, their newest petition has more than 2,100 signatures. And we're going to make this right, and we're going to keep pushing this to the legislatures. We're going to educate people, and we're going to get everybody on board to keep Washington safe. We reached out to Supreme Living. Right now, it's unclear if they or state officials will seek another location in Tenino or in other parts of the state. For now, in Tenino, Neil Wong, Fox 13 News.